Um, my name is Phoebe Harris and I've lived on the island for seven years. Um, I like it on Waiheke because everyone knows everyone. There's such a strong community feel and yeah, everyone's friends. Um, well, obviously we live, we all live so close to the beach. It's just, I think the beach just, it's such, in the ocean, it's just so peaceful, so calming. It's a source of life for everyone, you know. It's both energizing, like everything. I think it's just kind of like where everyone can come together, like, yeah. I think it's like the sheer size of it. Like, it's this whole massive thing that everyone in the world gets to experience. And we've got a, our own little slice here on Waiheke. I think it's just so much bigger than all of us and everyone and all of our problems. But it just has that ability to just calm everyone down. I think that the Waikiki marine environment is, it is healthy, but there are so, so many things that we can do to make it even more better because it's definitely on a decline. And I think that we need to, yeah, turn it around. I think that good would look like a beautiful, thriving environment where both the land and the ocean is in harmony and all the people, it, people, the land and the ocean just living in harmony. I went travelling to Hawaii, it was just so plentiful and everything. We saw turtles, there were coral reefs everywhere and I think it would be really good if we could have our own version of that on Waiheke and kind of restore the balance. I think that we live in such a hyper, like media saturated world that I think we can really utilise even better like connection through the internet and stuff as an island community and I think that would really help to engage everyone because everyone on the island experiences the ocean, everyone contributes in some way. So yeah, I think it would be really quite powerful to utilise that even more. Yeah, m using media to connect people, bring people together and use it like as an education platform for the island. I feel like on the island we don't really, like youth are kind of ignored and like me and only a few of my friends have been involved only because we like created a sustainability group, put ourselves out there. But I feel like sometimes the youth are neglected, but it's our future. Like we're all pretty worried that if we don't turn this around, like it's not gonna, it's not looking too good. So I think, yeah, reach out to the youth because we really, really want to help.